Hey guys, so today I'm going to do an unboxing video of this new camera I got and I'm super excited about it. It's the G7X Mark II. Honestly, just holding the box, I can tell that I'm gonna like this camera because it's very, very light. Here it is. Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. The reason I got this is because I'm working on a project where I need to film a lot more of my day-to-day -day stuff and I need to be more mobile. And carrying this, this is my 7D, and um, I'm filming with my Mark III 5D, and this is like two pounds. And even if I had a smaller lens, it'd still be a pound and a half. And honestly, I'm lazy, and also like I have tendonitis in my arms, so it's I can't film that long with these heavier cameras. And um, I did a lot of research, and I think this is the right camera for me because I need something that shoots better in low light. And at this price point, it's really good autofocus, it's good low light, and it's just very usable. Even though it doesn't have 4K, it only shoots at 1080 at 60 frames per second. But um, yeah, from all the reviews I read, it's, it's very usable. The grip's more comfortable when you compare it with, let's say, the LX10 from Panasonic or the RX100 series from Sony. Uh, Sony's super expensive. LX10 was the other one that I was really considering, but uh, just based on the reviews, I want something more usable. I'm not necessarily going to be shooting in 4K that much. So yeah, let's, um, let's see this camera. Right off the bat, this box is pretty shitty. Uh, I bought an international version to save money. It was about 80 bucks cheaper. And I don't think the camera's gonna have an issue, but yeah, like this box is kind of scuffed up. So that's not a great sign. Let's see. Charging cable, manual. Oh, here's the camera. I got a little wrist strap battery, and charger. Yeah, so once again, this is the international version. So what that means is that there's actually no warranty. So if you're to buy an, a Canon version from America, then you'll have a one year like product warranty. But again, I'm trying to save money and I, it's pretty dependable. I'm sure if there's an issue, I could just return it back to Amazon or the seller, but there's just no manufacturer warranty. So yeah, this cost me about $610, and I did one day shipping because I need it for tomorrow. Uh, here it is, now I'm gonna slowly open it. Oh man. It's always so exciting to like feel something new. Uh, yeah, this feels awesome. Uh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I have really small hands and just, it's so manageable, but even though it's small, it has some heft to it. Like it feels expensive. Like there's, it's glossy here and it feels dense, which I wanted something lighter, but now that I'm holding something more dense, it just, it feels nice. Like it's, you know, it's not cheap materials. Check that out. And now one thing that's really nice about this is this foldable screen. It goes all the way up to 180 and it comes out. So that's another thing the LX10 didn't have. The LX10 you could only fold it up, but this one you can also fold it down. So if you're getting shots like this, you know, you could still have a good angle. And even if you want to look up, you can definitely get shots at a good angle. Yeah, uh, again, it feels really nice in my hands. That's my first impression. The box was kind of shitty. There's this little red, you see that red lining? this wheel and the, the camera button thingy. Like, I think that's cool, that's a nice touch. If I'm turning this, I believe this changes the aperture and uh, you can hear a clicky noise, but it feels nice. Record button is right here. All right, I'm gonna test it out now. It started up really fast or it's a lot faster than my DSLRs. Honestly, I don't know that much about cameras, even though I've been using my DSLRs for years and years. I know enough to work it, but I haven't done, I haven't tried any other cameras beyond my Canon Mark III, so I'm not really sure how other systems work. But this is still within the same family, so I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to skip set date and time for now. There's no memory card. So this is one thing I'm not used to. The moment I turn it on, it, it, it's in video mode, 
uh, or I mean it's a camera mode, but it's just automatically autofocusing. And uh, I've been pulling focus manually so long on my Mark III that uh, that was really cool. It just it's just instantly focusing on things. Oh, and there's a touch screen. I forgot about the touch screen. Another luxury I didn't know I needed. Yeah, look, the screen you can just flip out and then you can see my setup. It's my Canon Mark III, my microphone, my two lights. So I'm definitely going to be using this with my Gorillapod a lot. It auto focuses very smoothly. It can't focus when it's like inches away. Oh, sometimes it can. Overall first impressions, this is a premium product for sure. It feels nice. Uh, the autofocus is cool. The screen feels good. I like the design choices a little redness on the on the top buttons the record button is kind of awkwardly placed like it's it's not that easy to access to because the ring function sticks out but the record button is kind of sunken in but i mean that's not really an issue i'm sure i'll get used to it cons the box was kind of in a shitty condition i don't have a warranty because i'm cheap and poor but hopefully it's fine, I, it doesn't have any problems right off the bat. Yeah, it, it feels nice. Yeah, I'm really excited to use it. I'm going to be shooting with it a lot and then after I get some time with this camera, I can give you a better idea of how I think it works. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much, I'll see you guys next time.